Okay, so this is my my uh, immersion uh, bath for my home brewing. What I have here is a uh, deconstructed office water cooler. This is the compressor pump. That's the uh, the coils for the. Uh, I guess it's the heat exchange. I'm not a AC guy, so I don't know the exact term for it. Anyway, the business end of it, the coils that actually would have cooled the water reservoir comes down into the tub of water, which is below the surface. And I've got a just a cheap $10 Harbor Freight um, water pump in here which is just going to end up circulating the water throughout the entire tub which my carboys will be sitting in inside uh, have to probably adjust the water level some now one of the things I have done is I have disconnected the water heater which I have no need for that for now but maybe later in the future um, winter time or so I might need it so I do have the option to be able to use the pump to pump the water into the water heater and back out um, I need to pick up a love controller so that way I can actually or a love controller or any other temperature controller and uh, <coughs> that way I can more accurately control the temperature right now the temperature is controlled by the thermal uh, sensor which normally was just uh, plugged up uh, inside a little recess on the water reservoir for the cooler which comes to the controller here and this screw right here with uh, conveniently no gauge to tell you what temperature it's set for is the thermostat um, I altered it some since I disconnected the heater and everything. The uh, uh, I made it so that way the switch almost dropped my phone. The switch on the back um, can actually turn on or turn off the entire unit, and that's the used to be the front panel, which is just lit up to show that it's on and it's cooling. There's power applied so the green light is on, but it's not cooling. The compressor's turned off, the blue light is off. Blue light on, it's cooling. Basic, pretty basic and simple, but I'm thinking this should help to control my temperatures pretty well.